for whatever reason, I started this at one, two, three, four in the morning. Hi, West. Double rhyme! <laughs>Welcome to Kilco. My name is Brian, and today we are trying whiskey that I've actually had before. To be clear, I had this whiskey probably well over a year ago, and I know I liked it because I finished the whole bottle and I knew it was kind of weird. So let's get into the drinking of it, shall we? Yes, let's shall. <clears throat> Little plastic strip does not want to cooperate. Hang on. Yeah. One of the best noises in the world, I hope. We'll see. Oh, why does that sound so good? I should probably stop. Oh, oh. Yeah. As always, we begin with the color. Normally, I would say something about the colors, but I've said kind of the same thing so many times. I'm a little tired of saying it. I want the viewer to decide what it looks like. To me, it looks a little yellower. But again, it really depends on where I'm holding it. Yeah, for me, this looks kind of like a lightly colored bourbon. It's not that dark amber I really like. Not a big deal. It's still... I'm calling it bourbon, too, when it's a double rye. So there's that. Part of this is, of course, that I usually just drink so much bourbon. But this is actually a rye whiskey. So I have to try to remember that. We'll see if I do. Begin nosing technique. Holy moly. Whoa. That is definitely not bourbon. I'm definitely getting that kind of... It's a weird mix of, like, black licorice and mint. And there's some kind of spiciness to it, but I can't quite place what it is, as usual. I mean, that's the norm for me. I can never... I always see baking spices. Close enough. It does smell a little bit sweet, but it's also kind of aggressive. So there's a bit of a gap in my memory as to why I bought this bottle but never reviewed it, but I'm fairly certain I wasn't actually doing whiskey reviews at the time. I was just buying bottles willy-nilly because I was watching a lot of Whiskey Tribe stuff and, you know, anything they seemed to like, I'd go, oh, I want to try that. I'm also getting that weird, I guess the only way I can put it is it smells like paint. I don't know why. I'm not sure what that is. But it's weirding me out. Maybe a little bit of citrus, too. Orange citrus, I think. And I feel like I almost have to say eucalyptus, but also kind of an herbalness. I can't quite figure it out. Maybe something akin to rosemary? I don't know. It's been a long time since I smelled rosemary on purpose. Well, let's get to the drinking part. That's the part I really enjoy. So here we go. On to the taste. Or the palate, as they like to say. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Yeah, not too bad, actually. I initially thought it was going to be really spicy, but as a first sip, it didn't do much. I did feel it just going down there. I almost forgot to say this is 46%, which is also one of the reasons I think I liked it, because it was a higher proof, and as I've said in many of these videos, I seem to like higher proof stuff. Anything from 45 up to about 60, once we get to the 60 range, it becomes hard to drink almost. Good, but not something you can drink quickly. In my case, anyway. Number two, we're gonna hold it on my tongue, see what happens. Oh yeah, wow, whew. A little bit of black licorice. Lots of spiciness. Peppery. Tingles all over my tongue. That might also be the alcohol, cause I did just hold it there. It's a nice mouthfeel, too. Coats my whole mouth. It's strange, though. It's not bourbon. It's not as sweet as bourbon. It's more... It's not drying out my mouth, either. It's so strange. This is so strange. I dig it, though. I went for the road, as they say. Oui. I do get like a tinge of a citrus, like orange citrus, on the taste. I don't want to call it overly aggressive. 
Because it is. isn't. I mean, the first sip I took, I was like, oh, okay, that was it. But it is alive with spices. Rye is a very different thing from bourbons. Tingles my tongue like crazy, which I enjoy. Some people don't. I like it. Uh, I think that's why I like high rye bourbon sometimes. But anyway, as far as tasting notes, I'm not getting much that I can pinpoint. So as usual, I will use the app down below for your convenience, I guess, and see if there's anything else we can find. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly. Average price paid is around $34.67. Or $35-ish American, if you want to round up. Or US dollar, I should say. The community knows profile. Vanilla, caramel. Uh, rye, star anise, clove, and cinnamon. I would agree with those ones. Those are some of the ones I couldn't put out. I could say rye, but again, it doesn't... I think of rye bread, and that's a very distinctive flavor to me, and I don't really pull it out much in the drink of rye, so... Oh. But as far as clove and star anise, yes, I would agree. Granted, I don't think I've ever actually put star anise in my mouth, but I hear it's kind of like black licorice, I think. Maybe. I could be completely wrong, and I'm not going to look it up, so... Yeah. The community flavor profile is rather simple. It's rye, licorice, and cinnamon, and I would agree with most of the cinnamon... I don't know, I don't think so, but licorice and rye, yeah, kind of. Again, I'm kind of agreeing with rye just because, you know, it's a rye whiskey. But as far as the taste of it, I don't really get the taste of rye. But I honestly don't remember the last time I had rye bread, so there's that as well. Community finish. Leathery, rye, spicy, and cinnamon. Leathery, huh? Not for me. But a little spicy, rye kind of, I have to agree with it just because I know this is made of rye. And then maybe cinnamon, I don't know. I'm not quite agreeing with the community notes. Let's see what the official stuff is, since thankfully there is an official profile. The official overview. Origin, USA, Utah. It's obscure. Uh, ABV, 46%, as we said. Type blended rye, age, no age statement. The official knows. Mint, clove, I said mint, clove, cinnamon, licorice. Said that too. Oh, sorry, licorice root. Pine nuts. That's interesting. Dark chocolate. Mm, with a surprising dose of gin botanicals throughout. Hey! Now that is spot on. I, As soon as I read gin botanicals, I was like, holy crap, this reminds me of gin. Why didn't I think of that? Probably because I haven't had gin in ages either, so there's that. The official taste. Rye spices up front, then methanol. Oh, that's a good one. Mint, eucalyptus, herbal tea, with wildflower, honey, and allspice. Wildflower, honey, and allspice. Hmm. But also menthol. Did I say menthol or methanol? Whatever. And eucalyptus was in there, which is wonderful, because... I only have that from the uh, mint mouthwash I use, but you know, you can go with what you got. The official finish. Cinnamon and mint gradually sweetening through the finish with a hint of anise. So again, that's one of those things where I'm like, what is that? I'm not quite sure. It sounds interesting. And it's fun to say on camera. All in all, this is definitely a step outside the bourbon world. Uh, it is a double rye, um, so you know. Well, I'm sorry. Double rye! It's got an exclamation point on the end, so you have to say it like that, supposedly. But as far as an interesting drinker, it sure is. I don't know if it's something I could drink easily, uh, but I know I did finish off a bottle of it a year and a half, two years ago, so I did enjoy it to that extent. But what I might want to do with it is uh, try and make an old-fashioned out of it. I haven't actually done that officially, and I think old-fashions use rye whiskey usually. Not 100% on that, but... Um, I'm not particularly picky when I make them. I just use whiskey and, you know, sugar cube and then bitters. It's pretty easy. One of the easiest cocktails to make. But I digress. Until next time, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. It's not you. Thank you for joining me on Kilco. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.